The BYU 2022 Mars Rover team has built upon the work and successes of past teams to develop a rover which fulfills all design requirements. Despite the size changes applied to this year's competition, we elected to keep their basic rocker bogey system used in years past. But in order to fit the rover into a 1.2 meter box, we implemented a folding system for the rover chassis which significantly reduces the rover size. This is done with the use of an off-the-shelf pin and custom-designed CNC part to create a hinge in both chassis arms. This change reduces its length and a rotating hinge allows the chassis arms to fold upwards, reducing the overall height. Our system weighs less than 50 kilograms in any competition configuration, and all components together weigh less than 70 kilograms. We've used Altair software to optimize individual components and have chosen materials based on strength to weight ratios. Our current rover uses a 48 volt Samsung battery, which weighs much less than the custom battery pack used in previous years. We have an automatic system that shuts the rover down in the event that the voltage of the battery drops too low. And in the case of an emergency, we have an external e-stop button. Our rover is fully capable of traversing all kinds of terrain, from flat level ground to steep inclines and around large obstacles, even negotiating extreme angles up to 45 degrees. In order to fit inside the new size requirements, we also had to completely redesign our antenna, as the previous antennas were approximately 1.2 meters long by themselves. Fortunately, with the new antenna, our rover has strong connectivity even over large distances, going up to one kilometer away. Between the rover and the base station, we use a configurable 900 megahertz signal with an 8 megahertz bandwidth. A motorized antenna at the base station will track the increase of signal strength to optimize connectivity. With quick setup of the base station and the rover, we can be competition task ready in less than 15 minutes. Thanks to the dedication of our team, the BYU rover is capable of autonomously navigating to GPS coordinates with a 10 centimeter accuracy. The rover does so by using a real-time kinematic GPS system, which operates on the WGS84 standard. Our team has implemented a UKF to obtain accurate position and heading data. Once at a GPS waypoint, the rover either signals leg completion or initiates a search pattern to find the AR tag, at which point it sends a signal to the base station and awaits further instructions. Our team is working on implementing optical detection on the new system, and in the event of failure, the rover navigates back to the last known waypoint. Our robotic arm works in an inverse kinematic software package and can be controlled joint by joint or in Cartesian space using inverse kinematic methods. The inverse kinematic methods, in particular, enable easy and intuitive control of the arm, so the operator can move the arm to a designated position without needing joint by joint control. The joints on the arm allow for a range of configurations in the XY coordinate plane and the wrist joint and a vertical linear actuator that we call an elevator allows for movement in the Z direction. This makes our arm capable of being able to flip switches, open drawers, plug in a USB, pull a rope, and even to type. Thanks to the robust design of the arm, which mimics a planar SCARA arm to some extent, it can easily lift items over seven kilograms. Given these capabilities, the arm can perform all of the required manipulation tasks for the URC competition. Using last year's design as a basis, this year's science team has created a robust science module that allows for greater automation. The module uses flavin adenine dinucleotide FAD burette reagent and visual inspection tests to accurately identify the presence of extinct and extant life in both rock and soil samples. The FAD coenzyme will play a large role in the science mission. Under induced lighting of a specific wavelength, we use powerful microscopes to visually detect any FAD present in a rock or soil sample, which is a strong indication of extant life. The burette test takes advantage of the properties of light and a solution of burette reagent. Under the presence of peptide bonds in a soil sample, the reagent will change colors and thus absorb different frequencies of light which will be detected by photoresistors mounted on the science module. The values received from the photoresistors are sent back to the base station where we generate graphs and use machine learning algorithms to make informed decisions about the presence of extant life in a given sample. The FAD test combined with the Burette test gives us a degree of accuracy well above 99%. Through the use of high-resolution cameras, our enlisted geological experts are able to visually inspect rock samples for fossils or extinct life. Each individual test on this year's science module provides unique information regarding the possibility of life. With careful in-lab calibration of the sensor suite, we ensure the reliability of our data and verify holistic functionality in rigorous bi-monthly mock competitions under similar conditions to the real URC competition. Thanks to the frequency and detail of our testing methods, as well as our rigorous design process, we are confident in our abilities to perform well at the URC competition this year.